live from Hollywood, California, BJ Vernon Husky, the Big Vanilla Funnies, unsportsmanlike conduct. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't believe what? you. Cause we the people what? are still here in the rear, yo, we don't need what? you. You ain't killing off good young nigga moves. When we get hungry, we eat the same fucking food. Who we eat? The ramen noodles. The ramen noodles, baby. My man Q-Tip, Trap Call Quest, opening up the show. What's up, everybody? It has been a while. I know it's been a while. I know it's been a minute. I know some people that hit me up and like, yo, V, what's going on? I didn't have people hit me up like, yo, V, we need a show. I didn't have people hit me up and be like, yo, V, you don't do the sports talk no more? No, that's not it, people. I have a lot going on. The good Lord upstairs, my Heavenly Father, is blessing me more and more in my life and in my career. I have been moved on to broadcasting. As many of you know, I was broadcasting and doing high school football, and I was doing college football, and that moved on to some basketball things, and that translated to some softball, women college Division one tournament out here that I did with more going on with film. I'm doing more radio over on Kevin Hart's LOL Network with earthquakes. So I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinning myself across the board. But I could not let the final four go past without me getting on wax and putting my voice out there. I want to thank everybody for tuning in live right now. VJ is on Sports for Light Conduct. I'm your host, VJ Vernon, a.k.a. VJ Wright. That's because I always think I am, a.k.a. The Big Vanilla Funny, a.k.a. The Vanilla Shack, a.k.a. The Blue Eye Barkley, a.k.a. The Creamy Kobe, VA's Top Talk Boy, Mr. Never Shut Up, The Big Vanilla Color Card, because I got a deck of them joints, and sometimes they need to be dealt out. I am your color card Vegas dealer. That would just smile, tip my head, and nod, and be cool with you, and watch you lose all your money while you sit here trying to deal with me. We're live on Speaker right now. Don't forget to tune in also on iHeartRadio. As soon as the show is done here, it will podcast over onto iHeartRadio. I'm working on a deal right now to get my stuff on YouTube. Working on a deal right now. Well, get paid for it. It's on YouTube, but working out trying to get monetize VJ, the big vanilla funny, VJ Vernon. All the names y'all got, 8515. Y'all remember 8515. 8515 is because 85% of the things I say and predict come true, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, just go back and listen. That's why I love recording. That's why I love putting things out there on wax, whether I'm here or whether I'm on somebody else's show. Whether it's TV, whether it's radio. Oh, that kind of rhymed. I got bars. Oh, hold on. Let me try that again. Let me try that again. Whether it's here or whether it's on another show. It's on radio. Oh, excuse me. It's on TV or it's on radio. See, I had the bars and then I tried to go back and do it, and then I messed it all up. So, we'll be moving on. Y'all know I can't rap. I, I'm saying, though, I mean, I can rap a little bit. I mean, y'all ain't going to play me like I ain't got a little bit of mic skills. Great show for you guys lined up today. I will have uh, Tom Perkins, who is one of the lead NBA scouts and one of the lead NBA trainers that works out players and works out guys that have already signed with agents Getting ready for the NBA Combine, Draft Combine, and then preparing for the draft. Out of San Diego, he's got his own company. He's coached three different college programs in his life. He's come about Kevin Durant. And I got something to say about that with him and Shannon Sharp. I do. I try. My wife is probably the one person I listen to the most who thinks I never listen to her. I mean, and that, that's right. But husbands out there, that's, that's kind of how it goes, right? Your wife is the one who thinks you never listen to her. But in, in, in reality, in actuality, you probably listen to your wife more than you listen to anybody else. You probably listen to your wife more. Right? I, I, I think that's true. I, I think other husbands out there can agree with me. They never think we listen to them. But I do. And sometimes she goes, honey, I don't know if you should post that. Honey, I don't know if you should say that. Honey, I know you want to be your own man. I know you want to be yourself. But you're not with a network just yet. And some of these clowns, some of these suits, they will look at that and ignore how great you are, how talented you are, how personable you are, how mannerable you are, how you know how to stay in your lane, you know how to get in where you fit in, and you know how to toe the proverbial line as far as you see fit to make things work in your professional life, which translates to how well or bad your personal life will be. Whether we want to admit it or not, you don't have to always sell out. Sometimes you got to sell in. It's not always a black thing. Sometimes it's a green thing. That's just life. Well, you either get that or you don't. A lot of people out there are knocking 
Stephen A. Smith has been for a while. I'm not his biggest fan. I can admit that. But I'm not going to knock him or he doesn't know what he's talking about. He sounds crazy. No, he knows what he's talking about. He wouldn't be in this industry. You don't get that far, guys, if you don't know what you're talking about. That's the guy who works at Sprint that's on his phone who watches you every day or they listen to you every day to tell you you don't know what you're talking about. He's on the cusp of signing a $10 million per year contract. Now, you can agree with it or not. It don't matter. He's on the cusp of signing a $10 million contract per year. And you got to kind of get in where you fit in. He didn't sell out. He sold in. There's nobody that's listening right now or that will listen to this in the future who says, I wouldn't have taken the $10 million. I'd have stood on my ground and sacrificed the $10 million. No, you would have not when you make $45,000 a year. Stop it. Stop it. In my Vanilla Shack voice, stop it. That don't matter. Barbecue chicken. Birdman, Birdman. I missed that one. I missed Birdman, Birdman. Birdman, you need to come back to the NBA so we can hear Shaq go, Birdman, Birdman. But my wife is the one.